Welcome to the top five sports callers of the week. Number five. Frank from Queens hopped on WFAN with Steve Summers to praise Yankees third baseman Alex Rodriguez, or as he calls him, El Magnifico. That's the greatest comeback in the history of sports. (laughs) Professional, amateur, or otherwise continues. (laughs) <laughs> the greatest Yankee, the man who's yes. recognized as the real Yankee That's captain. Right. And Steve, you can confirm it with any Yankee player. This is true. Past, present, and the future. He leads the Yankees in his far eyes, <laughs> home runs, on base percentage. <laughs> and that's why he's a Frank, I have been waiting for that. Number four. Cam from Taunton, Massachusetts, called into Felger and Maz to give the guys a calendar check. He wants them to stop talking about the NFL. Uh, Guys, can you tell me what month we're in right now? That would be, uh, I lose track, April. April. Yeah, Um, April. Do you realize football season does end, right? No, not really not anymore. You guys, are try- you guys sit here and you talk about guys. There's such a thing as too much football. There is such a thing as too much football. You're sitting here. You're breaking down the schedule before it's released. Yeah, it was awesome. It was a good uh, first hour. You t- it's the only draft you talk. I'll guarantee you guys right now will not mention the Bruins or Celtics once from July to October. You're sitting you- The only draft you talk about It's the only free agency period you talk about. You, you guys are hypocrites when it comes to this because you shove football down our throats. You talk about nothing but football for a month and a half when they were in the playoffs. The Celtics are in the playoffs right now, and you're not mentioning them at all. We will get to the Celtics later on in the program, but I got to tell you, I don't know if the Celtics are much of a story. We're, we're all sort of arguing and trying to figure out how they can win a game. Right, uh, until, unless or until they win and even the series or get ahead. I, I just think they're going to get dusted. Number three. Kevin from Pittsburgh called into the Cook and Pony Show to share his thoughts on Steelers wide receiver Antonio Brown wanting a new deal. I think it all comes down to the guaranteed money. I don't know how much money he signed. It was guaranteed, if any. But once that's over, he owes them nothing. If he blows out his knee, the Steelers are see you later. If he's like Troy, a, a loyal guy, he's too old to play, he's gone. So it's a two-way street. It's a business. I don't, think there's, a lot of business? Gar- I don't think there's a lot of guaranteed money left on the deal. Right. So then I'm saying, so then for his, if, as far as I'm concerned, if he, lived, if he played through his guaranteed money, that's all, that's all he owes them. Okay, Kevin. Would, so what do you su- all they, That's all they would give him. So what do you suggest he does then? I'd hold out. I'd be like, and hey, they'll let him. They'll let his butt sit out all year, Kevin. And let him. instead of making him. six that's million a year, six million no, this year, I mean, he'll make nothing. No. And you're no, okay, endorsing that. You think that's a good? And they cut him for nothing. You think they're not going to? If they exp- hurts his knee, they'll have to pay him. Do you work for the Steelers or do you work for 93.7? I'm just saying what I would. Well, Kevin, I think you're really stupid for saying that. You're talking about leaving six million dollars sitting on the table. Six he million dollars. He might, get, he might get fifteen. How do you know what he's going to do? So you stay there, Kevin, he's under contract. Have you followed the Steelers years? very? Would you pot him down I so him. I can talk? I, I mean, would you uh, follow the Steelers very long? Do you think they're just going to roll over and say, you know what, we're going to tear up this deal and give you a brand no, new one? That's not they're gonna not going to do that. Number two. Chris from Philly joined Mike and Ike to blast. Who else? Eagles GM Chip Kelly. Kumbaya, oh, my lord. What Kumbaya. I told you he was a clown as a GM. Oh, a we got a Chip player. Hater coming. Oh, Chip, Chip Hater, Hater coming. Uh-oh. What, what's hey, 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 Ike, you got one foot out. I got your other foot trying to pull you out. <laughs> jump my boat. I got wine. I got cheese. We're going to church. We're going to do mess. Seriously. <laughs> Three quarterbacks on the same team that had the lowest quarterback rating since 2010. Manny Moe and Jack. He's the tallest midget in the circus. He's a chump. Let's flop. He's a chump. Get out of here. Seriously, Chris, though, uh, on this move in and of itself, why is it a big deal? He's not going to see the light of day. Because, because, because Mike, there's a way to carry your team. You're in the pros, man. You know what? We should have Jerry Springer announcing the games. Why don't we bring T.O. back, too, because we need a wide receiver. He's a... They're laughing at him, man. I would have took Bruce Aaron. I told you three years ago I would have took him. They took Barkley in the fourth round, but he, but he wouldn't take Honeybacker, take a shot at him in the third. I don't know what he's doing. And know who the funniest guy is, Mike? 
He's laughing all the way to the, in his little place where everybody cut him up. How he's laughing big time. He's going. <laughs> 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 Do we have a prize for him? Two, two years he'll be out of here. He'll just be a little balder, a little fatter, and a little bit more smug. He can coach. He can't yeah. Jam. He plays checkers, son. He plays checkers. We play chess. Number one. <laughs> The top spot, though, goes to Jerry from Sacramento, giving his thoughts on aiming at the head when throwing at batters in baseball. Show host Grant Napier vigorously disagrees. The throwing of the, at the head and stuff like that. These guys signed up for that. They signed up for that. They know that that goes on long before they ever hit the diamond. I don't know why this guy's crying. I mean, nobody signs up. Cool. Nobody, nobody signs up for getting thrown at towards the head. Nobody signs up for that Major League Baseball. Nobody goes up to the plate and says, "Hey, throw up my head." Okay? No, I, I agree with you. Nobody signs up for that. Part of the game. You know what? It's not part of the game if it's done intentionally. Throwing at somebody's backside, throwing at somebody's leg, throwing at someone's butt, or even at the arm area, stomach area, is acceptable. Throwing at somebody's head is not part of baseball. It's never been part of baseball, and it should never be part of baseball. Man, these guys are crybabies. I don't care. They're not a crybaby. Hey, Jerry, do me a favor, Jerry. Go stand in front of traffic and get hit by a car going 90 miles an hour, and then call me up and tell me if you're a crybaby or not. If I signed up for that, I would. Nobody goes up to plate trying to say, hey, you know what? Try to hit me in the head with a 95-mile-an-hour fastball. That's not baseball. Are you me that Nolan Ryan never, ever plunked anybody on purpose? Come on. No, plunking somebody on purpose and throwing at someone's head, Jerry, are two different things. Tune in every week to hear the wildest callers and the wittiest banter as CBS Local Sports brings you the top five sports callers of the week. 